Hello! Do you play Sky Wars? Do you often find yourself in the middle with, with enemies hiding in their islands on the outside of the rim? But a TNT cannon isn't good enough. You can't just fire diagonally and hit their base, you know? You, TNT cannons only work in a straight line. Well, you're wrong. Today, we're gonna show you Diagonal TNT Cannons, brought to you by Alpha Incorporated. Now, Diagonal TNT Cannons are the perfect solution to you stupid. Get out of here. <laughs> anyway, Diagonal TNT Cannons are the perfect solution to dealing with those pesky Sky Wars players that don't want to leave their island. Would you get off the cannon? Another very good solution for dealing with pesky people is um, diamond swords, which aren't actually too uncommon to get. But um, oh, well, the idea of killing them. Hold. Boom, they're on. Now we can get back to the work I did. So here we can see four different TNT. Diagonal TNT cannons, which will, will be referred to from now on as the Island Destroyers, very similar to our Sky Base Destroyer. So let's start off with the basic Island Destroyer cannon. You assemble it like so. Block there, block there. No, not there. You put your water there. Steel. Very simple, very simple. No, the redstone does not go into water. So, as such, um, just to make sure it goes a little straighter. You place the button, you flip the steel. straight that way. Um, this one's also going to go that way. I promise you, <laughs> it works. <laughs> this one's also going to go that way. Oh, no, that would, okay, there we go. See? It works. That would have landed about here. Would have destroyed a big chunk of land. So, when you find yourself in a Sky Wars game and there. show case this cannon you can help direct it one way or the other by placing a TNT there or there so this one's gonna lean more to the right side um, they go off. Yeah, see, it also launches significantly farther so you have to compensate for that as well so yeah this is the simple island destroyer for the low, low price of, you know, like 10,000 gold. It launches in an arc from. Why in the world am I having terrible for it? Launches an arc from like there to there. Gives you pretty good coverage with optimal destruction. We also have a compact version. of you who are, you know, scrapped for time or resources and need to just, you know, provide some very minimal destruction. Uh, again, does not go there. So, for this one, place the TNT there, press the button, click the TNT, So if you don't want to spend all the time building something that's like four more blocks, has less distance coverage, um, can't be as directional as that one, 
it's, I mean, it's kind of just random where it fires, but it's still, like, in an artifice way. This one, obviously, you can control slightly better by placing TNT in either corner. And then, the next version is the Island Destroyer 5000, the close relative to the Sky Base Destroyer 5000. And this bad boy is what you want if you're pesky, if you're pesky Sky Base. Well, not Sky Base. Island Basers, we'll call them. The pesky Island Basers. Try to hide. This is not right at all, is it? I see them. These need to go. There. There. No. There. Okay. Oh, that's the combo. No, what am I doing? I see. These don't face that way, they face this way. <laughs> I promise you I've built this before.
this one you have to be very careful with. Um, and not place the dispenser that way. For in my experiments with this one, if you do not put these blocks here, um, there's a good chance that it actually will just explode the entire thing. Alright, um, very simple redstone here. I'm in a single player world. Why am I having terrible lag? Not need two fireworks. Again, we fill all these up with TNT. Fill this guy with TNT. Fill this guy with TNT. So, you can fire just. Skyward for whatever reason. Oh. I guess you can't have those there. Now that I think about it. Maybe slabs will work. Alright. Oh, you put those there and. Well, apparently we've made an alternative to the <laughs> Sky Base Destroyer. <laughs> Let's try it like this. Shot. Now, okay, so you don't have to put the blocks there, but there is a chance that it will explode otherwise. So. That was a successful shot, I think. It destroyed several craters. But warning on this, on the mini, on the mini uh, sky bait, not sky base, on the mini island destroyer 5000. There is a big warning. Warning label says possible explosion may occur on I mean, inside the machine, meaning that there is a good chance that the machine actually will explode if the dispensers happen to accidentally dispense off the block. It will destroy the machine. But there you go, many different versions of a diagonal TNT cannon used for your Sky Wars pleasure or so desire to do some other game and want to blow things up there too, that works. So to finish this off, we're gonna see three of the four inactive, I mean action, not inactive. Although I guess they, since are, well no, they're not inactive. So this one, if you put those there, it'll fire even farther. TNTs? I don't. I think everything went into the air. One of them should have shot this way. Who knows? Anyway, if you would like to, you know, purchase a Island Destroyer, or a Mini Island Destroyer, or an Island Destroyer 5000, or a Mini Island Destroyer 5000, be sure to contact Alpha Incorporated for all of your destruction needs.